Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. We certainly do. I'm going to paint a seed hurdle today and this image is going to be available on my website www.clifeivart.co.uk So grab your brush, have a great time And don't forget to click subscribe Visit but before we get to that, I'm just going to show you. I've had a lot of people saying, Clive, I've just come over from watercolours and gouache, and can you use acrylics on the paper? Well, you can. This is um, a card. Here we are. It's just a card that I'm actually using at the moment. Um, but that's a, a, a gouache that I did. That's in the iCards, that lesson. Also, um, I did this one, which was the chicken. Um, again in gouache if you want to check the eye cards out and that chap there sitting there with his dog now these are all painted in watercolor and gouache and it's on this um i got a book like a scrapbook you can see i've got loads of pictures in there that i've been playing with but it's a it's just a scrapbook that i picked up in in the range of the uk or any diy um, art shop really and it's just just basically cardboard it's recycled so that's even better um, what I tend to do with these is if if I've done a painting and I'm not too happy with it I'll turn it around and paint on the other side and if I'm happy with that one I'll keep it if if not I'll just discard it or just put it in a folder and keep it um, yeah so you know it's ideal for practice now the good thing is with acrylics you can use them like watercolors or very 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 thin and you don't have to worry about the the, the breaking down of the paints using too much water because it's paper or card you can use watercolor paper you can use pressed paper exactly the same way the paint will absorb straight into the fibers of the paper and you're not going to have any problems with it flaking or anything like that and you can thin it as much as you want you can thin it like a like a like a, like a wash i'll show you how to do that in a second um and i have no fears at all with it and these can be mounted then onto some hardboard or whatever they can be framed wonderful little paintings you can do you don't need to go out and buy canvases or bits of wood or anything like that so acrylics very 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 versatile um you can use uh, paper and oils actually but that's another question okay let's have a look at the range of colors i get i got today let me just pick up this brush i got some burnt umber i got some raw sienna some yellow ochre some ultramarine blue some cerulean blue, white and black as normal. I got a wide range of brushes there. Um, these are these are just sodden, ordinary acrylic brushes, um, man-made fibers. Nothing too um, posh and nothing too expensive. These brushes are available um, on my website www.clive5art.co.uk. I'm not using um, my medium mix formula today, which is what I normally use um, for underbinding the paint, which you will use on on canvas and stuff like that that's also available i'm not even using any um, flow improvers because you don't need to and um, i've got no need to use the fine mist bottle again these are all available on the website www.clive5art.co.uk so i've got, just got some h2o or water i've got a, a container there which is my brush cleaning station um, that's also available at www.clive5art.co.uk if you want to pop along and buy one of these um, it's got three trays, one for your soap, one for dirty water, one for clean water, one for rest in your brushes. There you go. Anyway, that's enough of that. So if I want to wash my brushes out, I just put them in there. I'm going to put these one side. Now, I've drawn out the um, I've drawn out the, the turtle. So I'm just going to get a, a, a pencil eraser and I'm just going to lightly, lightly just take away a little bit of that pencil outline because I don't want it showing too much but if it does show like watercolors it doesn't really matter does it you know that's what we're looking at there we go so just giving that a little rub like that so let's get on to um let's get on to our let's get on to our background shall we so what I'm gonna do is pick up a quick a soft brush very quickly there we are soft brush very quickly I'm just gonna wipe wipe wet down the back of the the paper just like this just so the the paint will move a little bit i'm not expecting it to move a lot don't over brush this you leave it some of the paper showing through or the card or whatever you're using because you want that watercolor type of effect um what i'm going to do now is get some 
white and a little bit of cerulean blue see how thin that paint is see how thin it's okay that's fine that's fine like that getting some tissue paper absorbing the paint into the tissue paper like that and I'm gonna just put on I need a little I need it a little bit thicker because I didn't account for the the absorption rate on the card <laughs> let's get some paint on there that's better just get some blue speckled effects in there like that these are going to be quite subtle if it's a little bit too subtle just add a little bit more paint there you go and just get some of that on the tissue paper or you can use whatever method you want but I, I quite like this effect it's just to represent maybe a little bit of water there I'm gonna get some ultramarine blue because I quite like ultramarine blue don't see many sea turtles around where I live it's a little bit of color on the top just to darken that up there you go and I start done I hope you can see that it's very subtle at the moment so I'm gonna pick up um, a number five detail brush um, I'm gonna go straight into some raw sienna I can thin this down now raw sienna is opaque so I want to uh, um, semi opaque or oh, is it transparent it could be transparent actually I think it's transparent so I just added a bit of <laughs> my head's fried today just added a little bit of white to it and basically I'm just going to go around very very quickly just in between these gaps this is a shell by the way I'm just going to get a, a little bit of colour subtly, subtly is the key just into this like that maybe get a little bit of burnt umber to it we can darken it up with a little bit of burnt umber don't use black use a little bit of burnt umber and just paint in like this and this is just cardboard or card paper there you go let's get a bit of white just to get that turtly look Mixing a bit of brown, burnt umber to it. I want it a bit darker. There we go. Because they got these like leathery old skin, didn't they? These these turtles. I think they have. Just put a few bits and pieces around. Let's get some more. Let's get a a darker colour now. Just down there like this. Be loose and free. I painted a turtle uh, a while ago actually. Um, but I took the video down because it was poor, very very poor quality. And um, this has just inspired me now to paint another turtle. You can see that paint starting to dry as we speak so we need some burnt umber let's just get these patches in like this just using this number six a uh, number eight actually just using this number eight very quick and effective type of paint in these um if you're into craft fairs and stuff um you can you can paint some of these um, when you're actually uh, there um, and people can see you you were working and you don't have to carry big canvases with you or anything like that you can just paint on paper and you can sell them 
after you've completed it because these are going to dry very quickly so have a, have a think about that because these are drying very quickly you can you can knock out a few of these so if you practice painting um, the same type of painting so if you paint this several times you could have them ready couldn't you oh can i have one of them yeah you can have one of them there you go rather than doing the um prints and things these are so quick you could knock these out very 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 quickly and um, you can make yourself a nice bit of cash bit of yellow ochre i used to do that a lot actually i should do that again really shouldn't i because we could all we could all do with winning a little bit of money a bit of yellow oak in there like that and he's coming along quite nicely now and people would be amazed how quick you can paint things so if you painted it like several times it's easy it really is there you go put a bit of that yellow oak right now up there and you just don't want to don't want to waste too much time he's disappearing into the into the sea Get a few more things on his flipper, like that, and maybe just the odd one, two there, like that. We could get this now a little bit darker under there. There you go. He's looking nice. He's looking nice. He is looking nice. And a little bit of let's get a little bit of yellow ochre now, just around there, like that. Mixing these colours together. Mixing these colours together. Use let the let the the colour of the paper sh shown through, shine through, shown, shown, shine, shine through. Get that in there. Like that. Like that. Just a little bit of detail in. There you go. And he's got another one then. Just there like that. That goes down there put a bit of colour on that in a second and just go around like that wash the brush out very quickly <coughs> and get in some ultramarine blue and some burnt umber together look out look at the colour look at the colour look how that darkens up with ultramarine blue and burnt umber makes a lovely black type of blue black which is what we want. So we want to put a bit of colour in here, like this. Again, this is his flipper. Just letting the brush do the work. Don't worry too much about what the brush is doing. Just let it do its job. Let it do its job. Put it on thin or you can put it on thick, it's entirely up to you. Get that cerulean, cerulean blue now over there, mix in that with the cerulean blue. So the, the cerulean blue we know is, is darkening from that colour. So burnt amber and ultramarine blue, pull in a little bit of that into the cerulean blue. You can see that's a lovely, a lovely colour. Trying to get a little bit of this blue into this, like that. Adding a bit of white now to that. That's a lovely colour for seascapes actually. Ultramarine blue, burnt umber, cerulean blue. Look, you've got a lovely, lovely seascape colour. Just letting that merge in like this. In fact, let's get a bit of that over there like that. Let's just get a little bit of blue. Mixing in with our colour there like that. Wash the brush. Going back into the yellow ochre. Pulling in some raw sienna to it. 
get a little bit brighter. I think I'm going to add just a touch of white to it. Just want to change the flavour up a bit now. Just put in some little highlights. Into a shell. What can we do up there? Let's get um, let's get some of this cerulean blue and just mix that all in together there like that. Get some burned umber. Because I want them to be multicolored. I'm just playing with colour now, just trying to merge. Don't forget, you can just wet your brush and put this paint down as thin as you want. It doesn't have to be thick. You can merge these colours together like that. Just like it's fading away. It's just coming out of the mist, -ish, mist of the water or something. There you go. Let's put a few bits of a shell in there. Just be loose. There he is. Okay, so wash that brush. I better wash this one out as well because I don't want it to dry on me. Once acrylics dry, um, they're a nightmare to clean, so you need a little bit of um, nail brush cleaner. You know, the, you, you, um, acetone, basically acetone. Stuff to um, clean your nails, you know, the nail varnish off your nails, that's what you need, some of that. I'm just going to get the hairdryer on that because it's... I didn't think I'd have to, but I'm going to. I've just picked up a, a number, this is a hundred, <laughs> it's a very fine, a very fine detailing brush. But you use whatever small brush you've got, it doesn't have to be a, a size hundred. I'm just going to put in some details now around the eye. Just like that. He's got a bit of a thing there. As you can see, this is very, very thin. And you can just put a few little Details in like this. Just to emphasize a little bit of shadow and stuff. This is the joy of using acrylics in this way. And you've heard me say many, many times, you've got a little bit more time than me. So please, please, please take your time. Don't try and rush things. Because when you do that, mistakes can happen. 
So it's more of an illustration type of painting rather than a painting painting, but it works on craft fairs and stuff and if you've never tried a car craft fair I urge you to try because you'd be surprised how nice people are I'm just going to be, carry on doing a little bit more of that just to pick out a few bits and pieces What I'm going to do now is get my big number 16 brush and get some white, a bit of this blue. And I just want to bring in some light around the head. What I'm going to do now is wet my brush. Just bring that in like that, just to pull that glaze of colour in. You can do this with my medium mix on canvas, but you don't need to use medium mix on paper. Just bring in this, bring in that light in around him. I want to bring a bit of light down here as well. Just very subtly paint it in. Like that. I'm just getting some burnt umber now and getting a type of a wash. Now you can't do this with watercolors because watercolors reactivate. And what happens with acrylics when they dry they dry and you can paint over them but you can't do that with watercolor so if, if you've never tried using acrylics in this way then please please give it a try and let me know how you get on with it because you can have so much fun with acrylics in in ways you wouldn't think that were possible Very thin yellow ochre. And you could put in you could put in quite thick if you wanted to as well, if you just wanted to pick up certain highlighting points like that. And again, if you wanted to darken up a couple of areas, just put it on a little bit thicker like that which emphasizes some shadow there you go washing the brush I'm trying to just enjoy the painting process. You just disappear in there. So let's get my my big foliage brush and um, let's try another another effect. 
Um, I'm just going to play now and if I spoil it, I spoil it. If I don't, I don't. I'm just going to try and get some, maybe a bit thick actually. Maybe a bit thick. I want to get that misty effect like as if he's just swishing around in the water. There's a drip there, look. Just get that drip away. Lift that off with a little bit of kitchen roll. So I just wanted to look as if he's just been stirring up the water. He's just come off the bottom of the of the seabed. He stirred up the water. And he's got that bit of a mist around him like that so you can't see his back end which which is makes it nice and easy so you don't have to paint it <laughs> so let's get a bit of yellow ochre a bit of burnt ember i hadn't planned on doing this but i thought it might be a good idea to do it just to give it a bit of a bit of dimension there and nearly at the end nearly at the end so what i want to do now is get some yellow ochre some white and then I'm just gonna put in some light like this Let's get some yellow ochre. Let's pick up a few little details here and there. And just have fun with it, really. There you go. My little rendition of a a sea turtle swimming, and just coming off the seabed on paper with some acrylics. You can do a much better job than that, I am absolutely sure. I'm just giving you an idea, so please have a go and have fun. If you like what you've seen today, please for don't forget to click the subscription button down there. Over there is another video and there's a link to um, another a Patreon page, my shop or um, my uh, mindfulness um, YouTube channel if you want to pop along to that. And um, I paint to relax so, and you, you do so too. And that's what it's all about is painting to relax and having fun and taking these skills from paper to canvas. Before you know it, you will be a first class artist. So until then, bye bye.